I trained like John Wick for 21 days. To see how much I can blend my 20 years of martial arts experience with shooting guns, as growing up in Europe, I barely ever had access to firearms. And by the end of the video, I will try to replicate a John Wick action scene to see how much I managed to improve. I'm super excited because I have such a low understanding of guns that I don't even know how to handle one. And I'm really curious to see how much I will transform during the next 20 days. Once I reached the shooting range, I met my three new shooting instructors. Two Israeli soldiers with real-life combat experience and a Lithuanian special forces soldier. And while it was crazy how much I was about to progress in a single session, we started off by teaching me the very basics. Because if you want to go forward and make you become John Wick, we need to drill from the basics itself. And I have no clue how to use any of these now, but by the end I'm gonna be able to... Yeah, search. we have three hours, it's more than enough. Damn. And right from the get-go, I made my very first mistake by wearing sweatpants. Bandika Straub great. Ooh. It turns out there's a good reason why John Wick is wearing a suit. As with sweatpants when pulling out a gun, you can pull out the entire holster with it. Yet a suit has a belt that holds a holster much better. After tying my sweatpants harder though, I did manage to get away with it, at least for a little bit. After learning to draw a gun and shoot it for a while, I started feeling a bit more comfortable with the gun. But then suddenly, my coach asked me to put a real bullet in it. That completely changed how the gun feels in my hands, as I realized that now I hold the power to take a person's life. And the adrenaline immediately kicked in. That was stressful, but it felt good. I was then taught how to make sure the gun is safe after the magazine was empty. And then after shooting the gun a few more times to get used to the kickback, I was given a tactical belt, more lessons on how to handle a pistol. I think you hit the groin, but it's okay. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Take out the mag, insert right here. Oh my God, okay, here. Yeah. And then oops. I was taught how to change position and then I was introduced to firearm malfunctions, a realistic aspect of guns which was barely covered by movies for decades. With someone shooting hundreds of times and their guns never jamming or running out of bullets, well in reality this would be a fairly common experience. And while some movies have used weapon malfunction or running out of ammo as a plot device, it was the John Wick franchise that really integrated these aspects into the action. And I was about to learn the reality behind them by first learning how to reload like John Wick. Choo -choo 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 -choo. And it's not shooting anymore. We're gonna look. The whole thing is running back. It's empty. Exactly. How can you see it's empty? The orange color here. Oh. Okay. So if it's a stressful situation, you drop it. Drop it yeah. the hell out. Okay, поставя байки с шовиней. Ду вариант. Фирма с варианта стака ту дорей. Кита с варианта сера с ударита с штри ударит. Фирма с тисек и апа чаи мам кита уштейсом. Антрас сука мышона. Тогда из чаи шей на детуве. Мессиш карту кишем. Иркита сера Джон Уик стайл. Кей кей ти детуве. Сукт гинкла и кита пуся. Минти скамя. Кей аж не турю шовиню. Ману и жгивяниму коэффициенту с дидею. Кей ту крепи акис. Then after practicing reloading dozens of times, failing many of them, and hurting my hands, my first wound. <gasps> they say women like scars. Such a bad scar. <laughs> we looked at the first malfunction known as failure to feed. The clip not being pushed in enough, or the slide not being cocked hard enough. Oh, it's not shooting. What the f we're gonna look? You see the whole slide? We're gonna do. Uh, double check those two movements. Yeah. Then after practicing dealing with the first malfunction. I got introduced to the second one, the empty bullet casing getting stuck in the slide, known as failure to eject. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, sh second one. We're gonna take it like that. I'll do multiple times. It's pretty common. Three times. One, two, three, here, and cock it again. The cool part about Keanu Reeves and firearm malfunctions is that, as director Chad Stahelski explains, during the shooting of the film, Keanu's gun occasionally jammed, and while generally on productions, the actor would stop and wait for a replacement, Keanu would see what's wrong and clear the malfunction on camera, leaving some of the magazine changes in the final film unscripted. And while we will see if I will be able to achieve such a level of mastery by day 21, the guys were pushing me hard so I would get better fast. You didn't cock it enough. Okay, figure it out. Do it. So I'm like... 
and soon enough they were giving me an automatic weapon to shoot with making me think gosh we are going fast yet while internally i was freaking out by the pressure of dealing with real guns i kept being focused taking everything i'm given as best as i can learning to switch guns as the next step okay really throw it back and to blend everything i've learned so far up Bob. It's interesting for me no. to experience how when you have more experience with the fundamentals you feel much more comfortable where this is still new and it's like <sighs> and then i was finally taught how to blend shooting with hand-to-hand -hand combat <laughs> And then for the final challenge of the day, I was given some intense physical exercises to do in order to get my adrenaline pumping so that I would be able to do the same actions I learned under pressure. Dar, 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 <laughs> nah. That was a lot for a first day, but there was still so much more to come. As from day two, I bought my very first airsoft gun and holster and began working intensively on a gunjutsu program developed by Aaron Cohen, one of the original Keanu Reeves' coaches for the actual John Wick movies that I previously had the pleasure of getting to know. Through his program, I learned more about the proper grip that is suitable for striking with a pistol, where unlike in the traditional pistol grip, the thumbs are pressing into the other fingers for maximum grip strength and then i used my gi on top of my belt to start learning how to open the jacket and draw the gun from concealed carry something that john wick does a lot for the movies then after two weeks of training on my own i went back to the guys at the range this time wearing a proper belt but at the beginning of the training i became concerned as learning from two different programs at the same time i wasn't able to do what i was taught the first time that well anymore up ah, again it didn't come yeah. yeah empty magazine replace it Perfect. Okay, wait, closer to the face, not here, no. here. Yet with some practice, I started getting the hang of things again. Second. Keep your eyes on the target. Exactly. Then I was asked to switch the magazines and get ready to shoot while walking to get used to using the gun in motion. And although at the beginning I messed up a number of times, up. finally I started getting a hang of the new elements as well. Up. Great. And then I moved on to learn the center axis relock, aka car shooting technique, a real life method used by John Wick in the movies designed to provide improved accuracy and quick target acquisition, particularly in close quarters combat situations. One of the primary benefits of car is its ability to maintain situational awareness while shooting, as by holding the firearm close to your body, the shooter can keep both eyes open and scan the surroundings for potential threats. A very useful skill for John Wick, who is constantly faced with multiple attackers coming at him from all different directions and then it was time for me to learn this method it's an airsoft gun okay if you want to grab it mm. you press it to the body if i want to shoot up i'm not changing the angle changing the angle in my hips mm. 90 degrees angle and okay. if you want to shoot down bam then after practicing for a while with an airsoft gun and getting some corrections try to tuck your elbows a little bit yeah, i want it to be like straight we moved on to using live rounds something that i turned out to be not so bad at up Everything hit. All of these went now straight in here. So then after teaching me how to move and shoot with this technique. So you're walking straight, bam, bam. Right. Where I realized that my training is slowly starting to come together. Oh, my function. And. and then after I learned how to integrate my martial arts training with the new shooting technique. I essentially strike, strike, strike. Bar decided to give me a challenge to shoot multiple targets in any order without knowing when I'll have to switch the mag, which was a huge level up from what I was doing before. So I put on all of my focus and gave it my best shot. Up. Yeah, go, 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 go. Ah, he's down. <laughs> Bye. 
Yeah! Sorry to get the fun. fun. <laughs> That was amazing. Uh, hmm. Wow, wow. I still feel the brain is connecting dots, but it's connecting faster. Yeah. The, the delay between, oh, t -t 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 -t, it's becoming smaller. Yeah, it's become really, really smaller. My progress was yet again visible, shocking me how much I started to enjoy shooting just after a couple of weeks of training. But then the final challenge of doing a whole one take John Wick inspired choreography was still ahead of me, which could either make or break everything I learned. As under the pressure to perform, I could easily mess things up. To find out if I will, I had one more week to train and prepare on my own, during which I also got to try out a product which I really fell in love with. That is a sleep supplement known as Cutscene. Working many hours by the computer, editing my videos till late night, I'm often left too distracted when the time comes to go to bed, regularly spending hours lying around until I finally fall asleep. Although I was skeptical at first, I decided to give Cutscene a try, and the results were awesome. Every time I used Cutscene, I easily fell asleep in a matter of an hour, and woke up fresh fresh and rested after a good night's sleep. And the best part is that it's completely natural and non-addictive. Although cutscene was initially created for gamers, more and more athletes are discovering how it's helping them as well. So if you want to try cutscene yourself, you can use my code ROCAS to receive a 10% discount, and if it won't work out for you, there's a 30-day guaranteed money back condition. Speaking from my experience though, I think you will also be really happy with it. So I highly recommend giving it a shot and improving those nights when you need to sleep but just can't. Then, as the final day of training like John Wick came, my wife and I set out to the range again. We are on our way to film the last session and this time I'm bringing my tuxedo not only to represent the iconic John Wick style but also to see how much I learned to do concealed carry. Then once I met the guys who will be my bad guys of the day, we quickly designed an action scene together which was going to heavily rely on my newly learned firearm skills and my already possessed martial arts skills. I then donned my John Wick suit, obviously with a belt this time, and was ready to put everything on the line, finally getting to see how much I I managed to transform, or didn't, from being a typical European guy with no relationship with firearms whatsoever, to potentially becoming John Wick. The moment of truth was here. As we all watched the video together, we couldn't believe just how good the action scene looked. Surprisingly, it took only 21 days of intense training to achieve, where clearly the already possessed martial arts skills came into play, but it was actually the people who helped me that made all the difference. If you want to see how I tried Batman's official martial art, click on this video right here. And as always, I wish you to own your journey.